I knew for a while that I needed bottom surgery, that I needed a vaginoplasty, but how did I come about figuring out this was right for me? And how might you be able to figure out if this is something that you need on your own transition journey? So bottom surgery, what is that? It's a very broad term that can refer to a lot of different surgical procedures. For trans women or non-binary people assigned male at birth, some of the common things we might think of are like an orchiectomy, or a vaginoplasty, including things like a zero-depth vaginoplasty. For trans men or non-binary people assigned female at birth that desire any sort of bottom surgery, we may think of things like metoidioplasty, phalloplasty, or a hysterectomy. But before diving in further, I just want to be very clear about a very important point. As a trans or non-binary person, you don't feel like you have to need or want bottom surgery. You know, you're not any less valid as the gender that you are, the gender that you identify as. You know, regardless of whether or not you feel surgery is something that you want or need or isn't something that you want or need, at the end of the day, it's really just about figuring out your own gender transition goals and taking steps toward that. And if surgery is not a goal of yours, that's perfectly okay. I also bring this up though, because you may be in a place where you're unsure. You know, maybe you're thinking something like, surgery is something that I might want one day, but I'm not really sure right now. This is where spending some time and emotional energy focusing on what you need in your gender transition more broadly is very important. Ask yourself things like, what do I need to feel fully comfortable in my body? We can ask ourselves a version of this thing called the miracle question. You know, if I woke up tomorrow and my problems or struggles were solved, what would tell me that I'm better? You know, if we think of it specifically related to our gender transition, it could be something like if I woke up tomorrow and say maybe my gender dysphoria was gone or at least much more manageable, why would this be the case? What would tell me, what would be different that would tell me that my gender dysphoria has gone down a lot and or become much more manageable? The point of these questions is to try visualizing what it is that you're working toward in your gender transition. So it's not just like a very abstract goal of like, I want to feel better. We're defining like, what does feeling better look like? What does it look like to you specifically? You know, think of gender transition like any other goals in life. It's difficult, if not impossible, to achieve an unclear goal because we don't really know whether or not we've reached it at all if that goal wasn't well-defined in the first place. In the same light, we can't really know if something like bottom surgery is what we need if we don't take the time to really get clear on our gender transition needs and figure out like what are our own personal reasons that would indicate, oh, this is something for me. Or, mm, you know what, That's this isn't something I need. Maybe not right now, maybe not ever, and that's okay. So how did I specifically figure all this out? Figure out that a vaginoplasty was the right thing for me, what I needed in order to actualize some of my gender transition needs and goals. Well, as I mentioned in the past, I didn't immediately want a vagina. That wasn't something I like wanted all my life. That wasn't even something I necessarily was like super clear on at the start of my transition. I was unsure at first, but over time I realized a lot of this uncertainty was wrapped up in what other people wanted for me or expected of me. You know, specifically like what my partner at the time wanted or rather didn't want. She didn't want me to have surgery because she preferred for me to have things as they were pre-surgery. She's afraid that she wouldn't want to have sex with me after surgery and for a while, I was okay with that, or at least I convinced myself that I was okay with that. But over time, I continually realized over and over and over how much discomfort I had was with the fact of having a penis. I didn't really care much about sex at all, but I especially didn't want to have sex with a part of my body that is giving me significant physical and emotional discomfort, to put it lightly. You know, our wonderful neighborhood friend, gender dysphoria, always, always right around the corner, if not already in the room with us. It did take me a while, but I eventually came to this realization about something very important. Or rather, I was able to acknowledge and accept that this is my body. I live in this body 24-7. So therefore, I need to live in my body on my own terms, not on someone else's. If something is making me uncomfortable, and there is a way to change it, a way to feel more whole, complete, fulfilled, and comfortable in my own body, and I'm not like actively harming myself or someone else in the process, I feel like I should look into it at the very least, or, you know more likely go for it if that's what feels right. If I just kept living my life on other people's terms, in this case one of my previous partners, and 
a type of genitals that she preferred for me to have, I would just be doing more of the same of what I was doing before transition. You know, I would be living a life that I thought I had to, that others told me I had to, either explicitly or implicitly, and that I had to be a certain way in this world, but that certain way wasn't who I was, wasn't who I wanted to be. Living my life according to what others want for me and ignoring my own emotional needs in the process? If we do that over time, when we keep ignoring our own needs to continuously put the needs of others ahead of ours, we often become resentful both towards ourselves and towards the people in our lives and maybe even just towards the world in general. And that's the last thing I wanted for myself, and that's the last thing I want for any of you out there. The real important point here is to ask yourself if what you feel that you want or need for your gender transition, and specifically related to bottom surgery within the context of this video, but we can apply this more broadly to other areas of transition too, we have to ask ourselves, is this coming from what other people are saying, or is this truly coming from within? You know, it can be hard to differentiate, but it's really important to get clear as to the why, in terms of why are you considering pursuing something like bottom surgery? What is the motivator there? Why is this important to you? Is this a decision to pursue or not pursue based on trying to make your partner or partners happy? Or is this a decision based on making yourself happy, making yourself feel more comfortable in your body with what you wear, with how you show up in intimate relationships, with how you feel simply existing on a day-to-day -day basis and maybe more. It may be easy to answer these questions for some of you, or for some of you it may take a lot of time and a lot of soul searching to find the answers. And for those of you that already have the answers, you probably already did a lot of this soul searching. You just are maybe at a different point in your transition journey. Regardless, I think it's important to really take the time to make sure that your motivation for any gender transition steps comes from within is motivated by what you need and want for your own happiness and to make your life feel like it's worth living for you. And again, getting or not getting bottom surgery, these are both perfectly, completely valid options. Do what is right for you and your own individualized gender transition goals. You know, don't let other people tell you what you should or shouldn't do with your body when it comes to finding what makes you feel most comfortable and most whole as yourself. And I think I'll go ahead and stop here for today. What are your thoughts and reactions? Have you considered bottom surgery? Have you maybe even already had bottom surgery? You know, regardless, what has helped you move towards deciding that this is for you or was something for you or that bottom surgery isn't something for you? Or maybe you're still in a place of uncertainty and that's perfectly okay. Let me know all of this and so much more down in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Tipsy and I love you all and hope you're staying safe and sound. If you have not done so already, please be sure to give this a huge thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I love you all. Bye for now.